What's up, everybody? This is Coach Chip with Toe to Toe Magazine TV. And today I'll be giving my assessment on the Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia mega fight. If Ryan Garcia signs the contract, we all know how that goes. Ryan Garcia just used other fighters name to, to sell his fights. And then after his fights, he fights nobody. Like in, in reality, he caught out all these fighters. He caught out Pacquiao, he caught out me, he caught out Tank. The list goes on and on and on and on. And he's never fought none of them. The, the best person on his resume is Luke Campbell. And Luke Campbell never beat nobody. So what are we even talking about? The fight that we still even talk about, Ryan, is, is unbelievable. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get it up. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there, and they stay there. All right. Oh, before we start, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave your comments. Uh, after you check out this video, I want to uh, get your take on uh, what you think. We get into the monster, the beast, the baby gorilla that is Tank Davis. Let us look into Ryan Garcia and his attributes and what he can do as a boxer. Brian Garcia is documented as five foot eleven. All right, he has decent hand speed. He has good hand speed. Good timing, and he has a bread and butter punch, which is his left hook. What you're gonna have to do tonight is. Tank is a southpaw. And, you know, uh, the boxing uh, gods say that a left-hander is more uh, vulnerable to straight right hands. But if Ryan Garcia can take away Tank's jab and come over it with that left hook, that can prove to be problematic for Tank, given Ryan Garcia's height, his reach, and his timing with that left hook. Now I'm about to say something really controversial. Controversy is going to be to the Tank fans. I am a huge Tank fan. Let's, let's, let's just put that out there right now. But he fought somebody that was tall, rangy, the good left hook gave him a lot of problems through the rounds before he got caught. Two, is this a knockdown? And is this a left hook? Begins to fade. That's where Santa Cruz wants to bring Davis. Is into the deeper waters as they exchange. Davis push down. Referee rules it. No knockdown. Okay, Tank fans, don't kill me. I mean, with that being said, do I think Ryan Garcia can beat Tank? No. Do I think he has a puncher's chance? Yes. Have I seen Tank have problems with a tall, rangy a, 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 a fighter with a, a good a reach? Yes, I have. You know, it, it took him a, a minute to find uh, Leo Santa Cruz. But when he found him, we all know what happened. One of the knockouts of the year. But Leo Santa Cruz had a good game plan. His range and distance was on point. Ryan Garcia is taller than Leo Santa Cruz. He is faster than Leo Santa Cruz. He is bigger than Leo Santa Cruz. He is stronger than Leo Santa Cruz. What I'm saying is, I think that a lot of people are uh, overlooking Ryan Garcia because, you know, of his mental health issues, the fact that he pulls out of fights, this, that, and the third. But you can't overlook Ryan Garcia's uh, physical attributes, the fact that he can box, the fact that he does have power 
in that left hook. The fact that he is tall in the tank and uh, he's not. A lot of people say, oh, well, Mario Barrios was taller than Tank, too. But Mario Barrios' time and reflexes is not like Ryan Garcia, period. It's just not. I'm not a Ryan Garcia fan at all by no stretch of the imagination. But I I, I like uh, Calvin Ford. I like the OGs that's around Tank to, to, to let him know uh, not to take people for granted. Every fighter is dangerous. And when two grown men are in there throwing punches, anything can happen. You can't overlook Ryan Garcia, even though, you know, his shenanigans, tactics, and stuff like that in the past, pulling out of fights, uh, all that kind of stuff like that. He is a, I wouldn't say an elite athlete, and he isn't proven and stuff like that, but you can't, as far as him fighting top-tier fighters within his weight class, but you can't get over the fact that this guy been throwing punches since he was a kid. He has a scud missile for a left hook. His hand and eye coordination is on point. His timing is on point. And he is extremely confident. For some reason, he just keep calling Tank out. He just keep calling Tank out. I think that he really believes he can beat him. I want everybody to go uh, tag Javante in my last video and tell him, come out, come out wherever he is. Tom, come on. And he said he can beat Tank in two rounds. We all saw this on uh, Mike Tyson's podcast. Dude said he can beat Tank in two rounds. <laughs> That's my perspective on Ryan Garcia. I want to give that perspective from that that side. You know, um, Ryan Garcia's confidence, Ryan Garcia's attributes, what he brings to the table. We all know and the thought process just off of Tank's last performances, if he walks Ryan Garcia down, which is a strong possibility that he will, and take away his jab and take away his, his hook, and he hits Ryan Garcia, he's going to knock him in the middle of next week. He's going to knock his snot box right off of his face. You know, um, we all know that the ratio of that happening is at a high percentage. But I wanted to look at a perspective of Ryan Garcia and the opponent. Upsets do happen. Um, this is boxing. Uh, anything can happen. Any any person can get in there and change their career, their life in a split second. So I wanted to look at that uh, side of the table. And look at um, what what Ryan Garcia brings to the table. What, what he is a challenger. He is an athlete. He is uh, somebody who believes in himself. He's been calling out Tank for years, for years. <clears throat> and I think that um he can be you know competitive because Tank does start off slow. You know what I mean. He does uh get that data. So you know we can see if he can. Add some sort of frustration, some sort of uh, problems to Tank, which I, which I think he can, you know. And like I said, I believe if Ryan Garcia is able to land that hook and, and implement a, a game plan somewhat like Leo Santa Cruz and, and keep his range and distance from Tank, I, I think it could be, you know, problematic. So uh, that's my take. This is uh, Coach Chip, and you watch it Toe to Toe Magazine TV. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share the video. This is my perspective on uh, Ryan Garcia. I know not too many people will do something like that. They're just going to think that, you know, uh, Tank is going to walk through him, which, which, you know, I, I do too. But I would just want to look at it from a coach's perspective, what, what you're looking at to prepare for an opponent, opponent. So that's my take. Hit that like button. Hit the uh, share, uh, comment, subscribe, and I'm out until the next one.